I am Anita Rathi, Associate Professor Botany, Government College Girls, Gurugram. Under the aegis of Director General Higher Education Haryana, I have taken a topic of Sinophysi, its characteristics, occurrence and classification. Classification of Sinobacteria Sinobacteria is also known as blue-green algae. Kingdom is Monera. Division is Eubacteria. Class, Sinobacteria. So there are few examples of cyanobacteria like Nostoc, Oscillatoria, Spirulina, Lingbia, Azola, Anabina. Introduction to Cyanophyce. It is a primitive group of algae which consists of 150 genera and about 2500 species. In India, the division is represented by 98 genera and there are 833 species. This is also the class is also known as Mixophyce or Cyanophyce. They both are known as blue green algae. The name blue green algae is just because there is a dominant pigment known as C phycocyanin. This is the blue green pigment. In addition, other pigments like chlorophyll A, which is a green pigment, C phycoerythrin, which is a red pigment, beta carotene, and different xanthophylls are also present. The members of this class are the simplest living autotrophic prokaryotes. Now I'll talk some important characteristics of Sinophyce. Sinophyce, the nucleus is of prokaryotic in nature. That means it is divided of nuclear membrane and nucleolus. You can see there is absence of well-organized cell organelles. Pigments, they are distributed throughout the chromoplasm. Chromoplasm is the outer part of protoplasm. Depending on the above prokaryotic characteristics, many microbiologists consider the member of Sinophyce as bacteria. Based on prokaryotic cell structure, like bacteria, Christensen in 1962 placed both Sinophyta and bacteria under a common phylum known as prokaryota. Sinophyta or blue-green algae has also been named as cyanobacteria. The cell wall is made up of microfibrils. The individual cells are prokaryotic in nature. The nucleus is incipient type and they lack membrane bound organelles. The cell wall composed of mucopeptide along with carbohydrates, amino acids and fatty acids. Locomotion is generally absent, but when occurs, it is of gliding or jerky type. The principal pigments are chlorophyll A, C phycocyanin, C phycoerythrin, in addition with beta carotene, xanthophylls like mixoxanthin and mixoxanthophyll, they are also present. Membrane bound chromatophores are absent. Pigments are found embedded in the thylakoids. The reserve foods are Sinophycin starch and Sinophycin granules. Many filamentous members, they possess specialized cell of disputed functions supposed to be the center of nitrogen fixation. These cells are known as heterocyst. Reproduction takes place by vegetative and asexual methods because sexual reproduction is absent in the case of Sinophyce. Asexual reproduction takes place by endospores, exospores, akinetes, fragmentation, etc. Sexual reproduction is 100% absent. Genetic recombination is reported in two cases. Now I'll talk something about the occurrence of Sinophyce, where they are present. Members of Sinophyce are available in different habitats. Most of the species are freshwater. For example, Oscillatoria and Rivularia. Few are marine, Trichodesmium and Dharmocarpa. And some species of Oscillatoria and Nostoc, they are grown on terrestrial habitat also. Species of some members like Anabina, they grow as endophytes in the thallus of Anthoceros, which is a bryophyte, and in the leaves of Azola, a tetrophyte, and Nostoc in the root of Cycus. You can see Coralloid root of cycus in gymnosperms, all of you have studied. 
So nostoc is present in the corolloid roots of cycas. Species of nostoc, Cytonema, Gloecapsa, Crocus, they grow symbiotically with different fungi to form lichens. Some members like nostoc, anabina, etc. they can fix atmospheric nitrogen and they can increase the soil fertility. Now we will take the thallus organization in Sinophyce. Plants of this group show variation in their thallus organization. The thallus may be unicellular or colonial forms. Unicellular forms. Unicellular forms the cell may be oval or spherical. Common members are gloeocapsa, crococcus and synococcus. Colonial forms. In most of the members, the cells after division, they remain attached by their cell wall or they remain together in a common gelatinous matrix. It is known as a colony. Colony may be of two types. Non-filamentous and filamentous type. So we'll first take the non-filamentous type. The cells of this type, they divide either alternately or in three planes. Thereby, they form the spherical, cubical, squarish or irregular colony. Second is our filamentous type. By the repeated cell divisions in one plane, single row of cells are formed known as trichome. Example, in case of oscillatoria, which I will show you in the figure, spirulina, the trichome, when covered by mucilaginous sheath is called a filament. The filament may contain single trichome or several trichomes. This is the structure of cyanobacteria. You can see the cell wall, the membrane. This is the mucilaginous cell wall. This is the mucopolymeric wall made up of aniline, muma, mumaric acid, glucosamine, glutamic acid. This is the cell membrane which is contains which contains lipoproteins these are the thylakoids the rna protein granules this is the cyanophycian starch and you can see there is no nucleus or nuclear membrane this is the circular dna so this is known as the incipient nucleus these are the unicellular forms of cyanophyce you can see the mucilaginous sheath around these are the colonial forms when few of them are arranged irregularly or in a proper shape. This is the filamentous type of algae. You can see the heterocyst, echinites and the mucilage sheath around. So these are a few members of Cyanophyce. You can see the thallus organization. This structure is Gloecapsa. This is Microcystis species. This is Eucapsis alpina in a squarish form. You can see the squarish form of the structure. This is Oscillatoria species. You can see a separation disc here. I'll talk about the separation disc in the next slide. This is Microcolia species. Rivularia. You can see a trichome like structure in Rivularia. It has a gelatinous sheath around polar nodules and the heterocyst at the base. This is gloeotrichia. This is nostoc species. In nostoc you can see the cell structures, the vegetative cell, the echinates. This is anabina species. Mestigo cladus limosus and cytonema species. These are the few Examples of Sinophyce, members of Sinophyce and their thallus. Now we will talk about the reproduction in Sinophyce. The blue-green algae or Sinophyce, they reproduce both vegetatively and by asexual means as sexual reproduction is absent. The vegetative reproduction performs through fission in syncocus, fragmentation, oscillatoria, cylindrospermum, musicola, Hormogonia formation is oscillatoria and nostoc. Hormospores in case of Vestilla lenosa, Planococci and palmyloid stages. 
During asexual reproduction, various types of asexual spores are formed. These various types of spores are akinetes, like in anabina, gliotrichia, calothrix, etc. Endospore in dermocarpa, exospore in chemosiphon, and nanocyte in microcystis. This is something known as complementary chromatic adaptation or Gaidikov phenomena. Gaidikov phenomena basically the efficiency to change the pigment composition to absorb maximum light for photosynthesis. With the variation of the incident light is called the complementary chromatic adaptation. Many members of Cyanophyce they have the capacity to change their color in relation to the wavelength of incident light. Due to variation of the wavelength of incident light, they can change their pigment composition. It may appear blue-green in yellow light, green in red light and reddish in green light. Gaidikov 1903 first invented the phenomena and according to his name it is also known as Gaidikov phenomena. These are the vegetative and asexual reproduction in Cyanophyce. You can see in the first case, you can see in Syncoca species, there is cell division happening. This is the cell. It is divided by a septum and you can see two daughter cells, right? Then in the B case, you can see fragmentation of the filament. You can see the fragment is divided into two parts. Now this will give rise to a new filament and this will give rise to the new thallus. This is in case of, this is the example of Cylindrospermum musicola. In this case, this is a hormospore. In case of Vestelia lenosa. In this case, you can see a big cell in between the normal vegetative cells. You can see this is a big akinete cell with the heterocyst at the terminal point. This case in akinete is the example of Gloicho trichia natans. This is an endospore in case of Dermocarpa. In this case, you can see a small cell which is budded from this major vegetative cell known as the exospore in case of Chemiosiphon incrustans. You can see in this case. This is Anabina species. You can see a big cell here. This is known as the Akinete with thick walls. These are normal small vegetative cells. And you can see a heterocyst also in the same filament. And these are small, small nanocytes in case of Apanthosia. So now I'll talk about the origin of Cyanophyce. This group is considered to be the most primitive because of some special features. The features are presence of unorganized nucleus, absence of chromatophores, absence of flagella and lack of sexual reproduction. They are found in all habitats where life is possible and they are distributed throughout the world. Fossil records indicate that they have originated in the early pre-Cambrian period but their ancestry is not known. Absence of flagella and the prokaryotic nature of cells lead to believe that possibly they have originated from unicellular aflagellated cells. Presence of most of the members in the terrestrial habitat, it leads to believe by most of the investigators that the Cyanophyce has originated from the terrestrial members. So now we will see the affinities of Cyanophyce with bacteria and with algae both. So we'll start with the relationship with bacteria. So we'll see the similarities of Cyanophyce with bacteria. First, we'll take both bacteria and Cyanophyce members, they have prokaryotic cell structure. That means they have unorganized nucleus, which is devoid of membrane bound organelles. The capsule of bacteria and mucilaginous sheath of blue green algae cells they are made up of fine fibrils. Thirdly, cell wall is composed of mucopeptide, which is a murine. So both of them have the same murine content. Fourth case, 
Oscillatoria, that is the blue-green alga, it shows similarity with Bigiota. This is a sulfur bacterium, both in shape and in the movement. Fifth point, both are sensitive to antibiotics. Next point, both the groups show similarity in many metabolic processes like nitrogen and sulfur metabolism. Seventh point, both Sinophyce and bacteria, they don't have sexual reproduction in them. So absence of sexual reproduction. Eighth point, genetic recombination has been reported in Anacystis nidulens, which is a member of Sinophyce, showing similarity with bacteria. Now, we will talk some similarities of Sinophyce with Rhodophyce member or the red algae. Both the groups they resemble in the absence of motile cells. Secondly, the cyanophycin pigment that is your C phycocyanin which is the blue pigment and C phycoerythrin that is the red pigment. They are chemically similar to the rhodophycin pigments that is R phycocyanin and R phycoerythrin. Third point, the stigma and some others member of Sinophyce, they have pit connections. So stigma have pit connections which show relationships by having similar structures as found in the members of Rhodophyce. So that's why this member Sinophyce is a little bit different from bacteria and something different from red algae. That's why it is kept under a different group Sinophyce. Now we'll talk about the economic importance of Sinophyce. Sinophyce members, they both show beneficial and harmful activities. Beneficial ac activities we'll take first. Number one, Nostoc kamine is boiled and used as soup in China. Few species of Nostoc, Anabina, Cytonema, they form a thick substratum over the soil resulting in a reclamation of usar soil. An acidic chemical secretes by cyanobacteria, it reduces the soil alkalinity. Third point, about 22 filamentous members of Sinophyce like Nostoc, Anabina, Olocera, Anabinopsis, Scalothrix, Cytonema etc. they can fix atmospheric nitrogen and form nitrogenous compounds. These compounds are further absorbed by the plant for their metabolic activity and increase yield. It prevents soil erosion. Spirulina is an edible cyanobacterium which produces SCPs, that is single cell proteins. Cyanobacteria colonize and add organic matter into the soil. Extracts of Lingbia used in the manufacturing of antibiotics. Cyanobacteria like Oscillatoria, it is used as a pollution indicator. Some cyanobacteria, they show symbiotic association with protozoa and fungi. Now, we'll talk some harmful activities. So, harmful activities, it shows some harmful activities also like some members of Sinophycian cause damage of building plasters and stones. It can be avoided by spraying copper sulfate solutions and sodium arsenate. Secondly, some members like Microcystis and Abina, they form water blooms and can grow well in oxygen deficient water. So continuous respiration by submerged plants and animals during night time when photosynthesis does not take place it causes the depletion of oxygen to almost zero level at that condition mortality of both animals and other submerged plants take place due to suffocation blue green algae contaminate the water of reservoirs they develop a foul odor in water and make it unhygienic for human beings and they can cause several diseases Different diseases like gastric troubles may appear by drinking the water contaminated by microcystis and anabina. 
Cyanobacteria are a group of photosynthetic microorganisms that show a huge ecological and biological importance. So that's why we study about Cyanophyceae.